pretty big deal to be an investor in, in a brand. And I think that that's exciting and encouraging. And um, I'm just going to keep doing everything in my power to continue to get us um, what we deserve. Well, welcome, Deja. Thank you so much for the time and uh, traveling this far to sit down with us today. Thank you for having me. All right, well, Deja, do you think you would be an entrepreneur if it weren't for Title IX? I think the right answer would be yes. Um, of course, I, I would be an entrepreneur if it wasn't for Title IX, but um, I think just with Title IX now, you definitely have more opportunity. Um, you, you definitely see more women becoming entrepreneurs, and I think especially with the NIL, um, it's opened up a lot of doors for me to pursue um, that, that side of it. How do you think your generation views the impact of Title IX? Being able to discuss partnerships, to uh, have investments in, in brands, I think that that's a huge impact on the next generation. I and mean, even on our current generation, I think that impact is, is very well seen. In this past March Madness, you had the fifth highest earning potential of all college athletics. Girl, I'm talking male, female, both. How has the ability to build your brand really been able to help women's sports and just that entrepreneurship bone that you have in your body? So I've really focused on building my brand since I was younger. Um, you know, freshman year, there was always the talk about whether NIL was going to happen or not, and we weren't really sure. But now within um, a year of NIL, um, being a thing. I think that I've done a really good job and the team around me has helped me do a really good job of building that brand, of being able to use my voice, use my platform to showcase different things that I value, different things that I find important to me. Um, and I think that's that's definitely showed a rise in, in female athletes as far as um, just as far as showcasing and inspiring the next generation. And I think that, you know, being one of the top five um, at the highest paying athletes in, in college, I think is, is really um, exciting and, and we're, we're not done yet. Where did this start for you? Where is the inspiration coming from? Really my mom, my family. Um, I think that's what drives me. That's what's driven me from day one. My mom has inspired me since I was a little girl to just chase my dreams, to show what I believe in, to be confident. As a mom myself of a one-year-old, I can tell you your mom, I'm sure, is so proud of you of all that you're doing. She is. You, you're also an investor in a lot of these partnerships. Tell me more about that, what you're into, and why that's so important that you want to invest, not just represent some of these brands. I'm an investor and an ambassador for Drink Barcode, which is new. I'm the first female NIL athlete investor in the brand, and that's a huge step forward for female athletes. Title IX really has opened a lot of doors for what you're able to do, and there's gonna be younger girls following in your footsteps. What does it mean to you to know that there are some girls out there that are gonna be, I wanna do what Deja's doing? It means a lot. It's, it's almost surreal right now um, that, I that I see that these, the younger generation is looking up to me, that they wanna buy my jersey, that they wanna come to a game, just little things like that. It's like, it shows me that what I'm doing is definitely making a difference and is inspiring some people, and, and that's what I'm doing it for. Um, I'm doing it for to inspire the next generation to make sure that they can have better by the time that they get to where I am. We've come so far in the last 50 years, but there's still so much more work that needs to be done. Where do you see that going for women in sports and what Title IX has been able to afford for all of us? I think it's really exciting to see where it's going. You know, we've, we've seen some change as far as, you know, some, expo some exposure, um, as far as the pay. You see it in, in women's soccer. You see the equal pay. That's a step forward, but at the same time, we have a lot of work to do. But I think that just seeing those little baby steps in the right direction is definitely um, encouraging. Deja, you have your hands in so many different facets of the business world. What's the best part or most interesting thing for you being an entrepreneur? I think just being able to kind of, you know, do things my way, just being able to have a say so. Um, and again, I'm, I'm still at, at the, the bottom of the process and just learning and continuing to pick people's brains and just getting different opportunities to meet different business partners, to be a part of different brands. Um, but to be an entrepreneur, I think is really special because We've come a long way to get to this point, and for me to be a part of it as a collegiate athlete is really, really, um, I think, exciting because you don't see that many doing it now. And with just with the with the year of NIL, I think that's opened up a lot of doors for me to do so. Um, so I'm really thankful, and it's it's a really great opportunity for me and for all female athletes across the board. Well, I'm sure this is just the start, Deja. Congratulations, and thank you so much for all that you're doing, really, for women's sports and uh, all those little girls that you'll be inspiring. Thank you so much.